Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Makwe bringing you an Easter message, especially this Easter Sunday. The title of my message is To Fold or Not to Fold. To Fold or Not to Fold. Sitting within the limitation of a lockdown imposed for my own protection, I have no choice as a priest except to walk interestingly in the land of virtual reality. A virtual congregation, virtual praises and prayer, virtual hallelujah, and virtual offertory. In the midst of all this fear and pandemic that has brought nations, governments, economic citadels, and bastions of wealth to their knees, subtle notes of a quiet Easter place their way through our airwaves. Yes, it's Easter, and it's a more fear-filled Easter than I've ever known with men. Ding, 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 ding. Coronavirus, has found a way to steal joy and freedom from many, leaving men and women ensconced within the four walls of their homes and feasting at a table of worry and anxiety. The somber virtual reality we now live in draws striking parallels to a more powerful reality of a man, Jesus, at a dinner table with close friends 20 plus centuries ago during which he predicted his death. Following the dinner table conversation, he was tried by a kangaroo court and even though he couldn't be pinned with a badge of guilt, the powers that be, namely Pontius Pilate and Herod, two sworn enemies, made peace with themselves to pass a judgment so scandalous it defies logic. Nailed to a cross, this Jesus then becomes God's sacrificial lamb to set humanity free. Buried in a sealed tomb, guarded by soldiers, a sign of nobility, VIP status. For three days, a thoughtful young woman, Mary Magdalene, suddenly remembered that his full funeral rites hadn't been performed. So she rushed to the tomb to embalm him Evidently, our fixation with ceremonies and parties when people die didn't start now, eh? How sad, though, that we spend more on the dead than the living. Here comes the bombshell in the story. When Mary got to the tomb, she finds the tombstone rolled away, and the soldiers passed out as zombies. And yes, your pastor just made that philocity reference. She rushed into the tomb and was met with a startling surprise that would echo for centuries to come. The tomb was empty. Two mummy cloths lay in place of the body. The head cloth lay folded, whilst the body cloth lay unfolded. Graphic descriptions help paint an unforgettable picture that illuminates key principles. When I study scripture, I find truth in the subtle nuances. Why was the head cloth folded, yet body cloth unfolded? This question was a seed of striking revelations. This same Jesus, the Son of God, who stands as the head of his church triumphant, had finished his work of atonement. Thus heaven could afford to fold the head cloth. But the body cloth, which represents the church, aka the body of Christ, is still unfolded, meaning God has not yet finished with what he started within and through the church. He who sits in the heavens 
can ask earth as his footstool. He's still at work in us to craft for himself a glorious church. We are still a work in progress and God ain't done with us yet. He's working behind the scenes to raise my story and yours too to dizzy heights for all to acknowledge and celebrate. So, COVID-19 cannot be the end of our story. God's unseen hand is working for our good, bringing us to an expected end. Lay aside the garment of fear. Roll away the stones of anxiety and watch this storm pass away. So here's the testimony for us all in this bleak Easter season. His, his resurrection is real and so is the cloth story. There is strength in his grace. His word must be our rule rather than fear-mongering confessions and whatsapps. As our church's anthem goes, so should our confession be in these times. Our end shall be the glory of the Lord. So Ghana, look out from your windowsills of this present era of fear and depression. This world, look out from your windowsills of this present era of fear and depression laced with anxiety and say to yourself, only God has the power to fold or not to fold our future. And the last time I checked from the book of books, his body cloth had not been folded. Hallelujah. He's risen. God bless our homeland, Ghana. And of course, God bless me. You better say amen to that. This is Reverend Dr. Beniza Malquain, Living Streams International. Thank you. God bless you.